Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 5. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about theme layout structure that is its header file as well as its footer file. If I back to editor, now in the last video, this is the HTML structure we have made or created for our file called index.php. Now inside this, what I will do, go inside this body section and let's say that generally for any HTML theme, we have a header section, we have a content area, also we have a footer section. So let's say that this is a theme and inside this theme, we have an index page. Inside that, we will have a section called header, we will have a section called footer and inside these two tags like header and the footer, in between these, we have our content area. So let's say div and inside this div, we have an ID, something called content area. Now inside this header, as we know that inside our header of website, we have a logo as well as we have some navigation menus. So inside this, we will have a section. Inside this section, this is the section all about logo. So let's say class, site hyphen logo. If I copy and paste, next we will have called site menus. And let's say that inside the site menu section, we will have our nav items. It means inside this navigation, we will have our anchor tag. And inside this anchor tag, let's say home. Inside this, we will have some hyperlink. If I copy and paste, let's say that this will be for about us page. This will be something, let's say products. And finally, let's say we will have some contact us page. So this is a general setting of any website. Like inside this header, we will have our site logo as well as we will have our site menus. Inside this menus, right now this is all about static content. First of all, we need to understand about HTML structure of any website. Now this is all about header. Now inside this content area, what are the basic contents we have inside our HTML structure? Let's say that first of all, we have to take a slider. So inside this, the content area, we will have a class. Let's say that site slider. Now inside this slider section, let's say that in our website, we have few images carousel slider. After slider, we will have another section and that section, let's say, if we have an e-commerce website, then we have, let's say, a new arrival section. So this is new arrivals and inside this, let's say new arrivals. Also, we have another section and that is for, let's say, latest products. So here we will go and let's say that class latest something, let's say products. Now another, we will let's say that if suppose we are going to show our vendor list. So here we will have called vendor list and we are going to provide a class and something, let's say, vendor hyphen lists. So this is all about a simple structure. Here we have a header. Inside this header, we have logo, menus. Inside this div, we have some content of our website, something like a site slider, new arrivals of products. Here we have our latest products as well as we have some vendor list. So finally, Inside this footer, as we know that inside HTML structure, we have a copyright section. So let's say that section, 
inside this we will have let's say class copyright so if we go inside this we will have a copyright content of every website another section I'm going to take and let's say that inside this section inside our footer we have some menus so this is all about let's say footer menus now inside this class let's say footer hyphen menus so what I will define here cut this we are going to define our navigation tag this is all about foot of nav items and inside this we will have our anchor tag let's say that footer menu 1 copy and paste menu 2 menu 3 now go inside this anchor tag let's say hyperlink it is empty it is empty and here it is empty now successfully we have defined all about the structure of header, content area, as well as a footer section. Now this is a simple HTML structure of every HTML theme what we will have. The difference is that might have inside this header, they will have some different contents. Inside this content area, there is something different. And inside this footer, there will be something different. But remember, these are the basic structure like header, content area and the footer that is every website have. Now inside WordPress, as we know that before WordPress, if we have some website then inside that website, as we know from this, we will have four pages like home, about us, products and contact us. So if suppose we will make a HTML website then this is the same content I have to copy and paste inside these four pages. It means that we are not going to use about reuse methods. It means that this is the content which is used inside every layout because it will be common. The difference is, the difference is that only about this content area otherwise about its all about its footer all about its header as well as about html declaration all will be same for all these pages so inside wordpress we have some smart functions which we we need to use to use about the common layout so we have inside our theme structure we will have a file inside our theme hierarchy called header.php so go inside this folder save this file with the name called header.php this is the file which takes all the contents what we have inside our header so as we know that inside this website this is all about the content of header so before actually copy and paste if i back to browser and see our output so inside this as we know that this is all about header all about content and this is all about our footer so if i press ctrl u and inside this code we can see that we have a html structure now back to editor now what i'm going to do i'm going to cut all the contents of this header go inside this and pasting inside this header.php now from this index.php our header file is missing again inside our template hierarchy we have another file and that file is something known as footer.php what i'm going to do i'm going to cut all the codes from here and pasting inside this footer.php so right now in that inside this index.php we have only our content area which is a dynamic area for every pages in our website because header and the footer is common for all the pages so again if i back to browser reload this page now this is all about our content area and all about content area now the next question we have that is 
how can we include about header.php and footer.php inside our pages. So we have to use two functions of WordPress something get header and get footer. If we go here, so first of all, let's say that we are going to include our header.php file. So the function we have called get header. Now if we save this change, back to browser, go to source code, reload this and as we can see that we are getting our header file. We are getting our header content. Again back to editor. Now next, if we want to get all the contents what we have inside our footer file, we need to use the function called get footer. Now if we save this file, back here, reload the source code, now we have successfully included all about its footer content as well as here as we can see that all about our footer content. So this is all about the idea of using header and the footer inside theme layout structure. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.